Shalom Temple Israel. Happy Hanukkah. It's Thursday, so tonight we light eight candles, the very last night of Hanukkah, and we enjoy one more day of sukkaniyot, of latkes, and of lots of chocolate gelt, if you're in my house. Growing up on Long Island, I studied in a yeshiva high school through the end of 12th grade, and one of the best parts of being in that school was the teachers, specifically the rabbis, the rabbeim, who taught us Judaic studies. And while they came from a far more right-wing religious environment than I or most of the students were from, they shared so much love of their students, so much love of teaching, and so much love of Judaism and Torah that it was hard not to be inspired by them. And one of the nice uh, parts of this experience of being stuck in our homes is that my high school started offering alumni classes uh, at night with some of the teachers who've been there for a very long time. So the last few weeks, once a week, I've been logging on to Zoom and spending half an hour learning from one of my teachers in high school. And it's been interesting to note uh, you know, which ones were still effective teachers or great teachers after uh, so many years, and I was just impressed that I was, felt the same level of inspiration hearing them teach uh, as I did back when I was in high school. And last night, one of my former teachers taught about Hanukkah, about the miracles of Hanukkah. And he asked, which of the two miracles is the greater miracle? The miracle of the Maccabean military victory, the few over the many when they defeated the mighty Syrian Greek army, or the miracle of the oil that was only supposed to last one day, but instead lasted for eight days. And the answer that he gave was that the military victory, the human victory, the human miracle was the greater of the two miracles. The miracle caused by God, the oil lasting for eight days, is only supposed to wake us up, to make us pay attention and look around and see what's going on, to look for uh, look at the other miracle, the miracle caused by the Maccabean persistence, the Maccabean ingenuity, uh, all of the human-caused parts of the miracle. And I was thinking about that lesson as I considered the news this week. The scenes of the new COVID vaccine leaving the factories, being shipped across the country, being administered to the first healthcare workers were so moving. They were so happy. It was, it was great to see something with a story with some hope uh, on the news as part of our world. And the only reason that that vaccine is available is because of human persistence, human intelligence, human ingenuity, uh, and our ability to study the world around us and to make something so quickly that's going to help so many people. Uh, I found something really very fitting or, or meaningful about the fact that the first vaccines that are going to bring the end to this pandemic uh, were delivered on Hanukkah. So we know it's gonna take some time before we return to our normal lives, but I like the fact that this miracle started on Hanukkah that we saw the beginning of the end of this terrible experience, and that we have something to look forward to starting on Hanukkah. So I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and a happy Hanukkah. We're approaching the end of 2020, and this Shabbat we will celebrate our final bar mitzvah of the year. So I hope you will join us on Zoom or on StreamSpot to celebrate together with Zach Batone and his family. Shabbat Shalom.